Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope y'all are having a great Wednesday. This video would normally come out on Tuesday, but I was way too busy yesterday. Um, my son got back from being out of town and my daughter and I went to get him, um, to pick him up from the airport. And um, we did some shopping prior to picking him up. And that haul will be on Friday. Yes, Friday, Friday's hauls, um, or those hauls will be on Friday. And then uh, my son treated us to dinner. And then by the time we got back home, it was late, I was tired, I wasn't hungry. And so I said, well, I'll just do this for Wednesday's meal. So we are having Cordon Bleu that um, I had got from Sam's. And I forgot to show you guys that the other day. There was actually like Cordon Bleu, some fish and some what else? There was one other thing, um, pimento cheese. Yeah, and I totally forgot to show them. Oh, and waffle fries. We had gotten waffle fries too, and I totally forgot about them, and then I opened up the other freezer, and I was like, oh. <laughs> so, um, but today's open collaboration is hosted by Life with Lois and myself, and I'll put Lois's channel down below. Bless you, so you can go check her out, and um, the, you could either make a crock pot meal if you want to join our collab and you can, um, of course, you know, post on Tuesdays or, or whatever day you're able to get to it. And then just tag Lois and myself I'm watching Ruby because she's just doing this little like tap dance thing on the floor. She sees her shadow. So, um, yeah. And so you could either do a crock pot meal or a casserole meal. And typically I'd be doing some crock pot meals, but it is actually starting to cool down a little bit. Some wind came through. And so that's nice, it's perfect timing to make this casserole. And the casserole that I'm making is a, a cheesy broccoli and rice casserole. And you'll just need two cans of cream and mushroom soup, some onions, which I have some spring onions here, and some butter, because you're gonna saute the uh, butter and onions. And then some broccoli, of course and rice and i am doing it the easy way i'm going to microwave it and you also need cheese and i've got uh, a block of cheddar cheese in there so um stay with me okay friends so i have some butter melting here and then i'm gonna put the um, onions in to saute with that this is the um cordon bleu that i was talking about that we got from sam's it's the barber barber brand Gord uh, cordon bleu um this is delicious. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it before, but it's really yummy. So I just used two of the spring onions. Um, I've got my casserole dish um, sprayed with my olive oil, with my olive oil cooking spray. And depending on how much broccoli fits in this casserole, I may just do one bag of it. I mean, just may just do a small side of the um, cheesy broccoli rice casserole. And I'm doing it honestly, guys, the easy way because I am microwaving my um, broccoli like you normally would the, the uh, in bag microwavable kind and the same with the rice. So I won't have to leave this meal in the oven very long, which is nice because I won't have to um, heat the house very long with the oven being on. But like I said, it has cooled down some, so that makes it really nice. The oven will go on 350 degrees, um, and will stay in basically until the cheese is melted on the top. Okay, so that is all that came in that bag. So I'm definitely gonna do another bag. I've got it in the microwave. I got my rice ready, and then I'm gonna cut up 
the cheese, the onions are still over there sauteing. I'm gonna go ahead and set my oven and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a can of the cream of chicken soup. And honestly, between the, um, the butter from the sauteed onions that I'm gonna put in, um, I may not, and then this can of cream of chicken soup, I may not even need. I don't think I'll need two cans with this, honestly. We'll see, we'll see how it looks. Or you can also, if you don't have two cans of the cream of chicken, you can also mix and match and put a can of cream of chicken and a can of cream of mushrooms. That would be fine too. But honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna even need it. I'm, I'm doing such a small scale casserole where typically I would use my really large casserole dish, but um, the cordon bleu is very fulfilling and this is just kind of like a side dish for it. Um, so, and, I, and also I don't want to waste because um, my son's birthday is coming up and we'll be going to dinner for his birthday and everything. And so I just don't want to um, make a lot and I do not want to waste. I'm not about wasting. Okay, I'm gonna get those onions. All that yummy onion butter. Get it all mixed around in there. And then I'll still have one more bag of, um, and after looking at this and adding another bag of broccoli, I probably will need um, to put another can of cream of chicken in here. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put a couple seasonings in it too just to flavor it up a bit. And then I'll put the cheese on top, pop it in the oven on 350 degrees for about 25 minutes or until, you know, the, um, the cheese is nice and brown on top. Pull it out and I will let you guys see what it looks like. So stay with me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cheese cut up. Actually, you know what? I should turn it so that it, well, no, cause it still has some ingredients I wanna put in there. So, oops. I do love my little cheese grater. That is for sure. Y'all heard me rave and rave about it. And it's like, and then actually it has a suction thing. I just always have a habit of, of picking it up because I like to be in control of it. <laughs> so I like to be able to turn it over like that and empty the cheese out. Um, I might have cut up too much, but no such thing, right guys? No such thing, it's too much cheese. you with my chopping this whole time but I want it or grinding I should say but I wanted to show you guys what seasonings I'm using I know it already has butter in the onions but this is a buttery garlic and herb by Kinder's I'm gonna use that I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on it and I thought some parsley flakes would be maybe yummy so okay and I think what I'm gonna do I was thinking about it as I was grinding that up um because I do have so much extra cheese I think I'm just gonna kind of mix some through so I have like some throughout, you know what I mean? I think that would be yummy, 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 yummy. And I do still need to add that extra creamy mushroom or creamy chicken, I should say. a little bit of this I think of the uh, herbs. Is this one of those that likes to stick? There we go. That's good. And then some parsley flakes and then I'm going to mix it all up really good. Stay with me. Okay y'all so that's what it's looking like. I'm just going to add the rest of this cheese on top. And like I said, basically all the ingredients are already cooked. Um, so you just are basically just melting all this delicious, scrumptious cheese on top. And I like it browned. We all like it browned. Um, so that's what I'll do. I'll leave it in there 350 degrees 
until it is nice and browned and then I'll pull it out and show you guys what it looks like. So stay with me. Okay friends, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna let it cool and then I'll plate up a little bit and then I'll do a taste test, so stay with me. Okay friends, so it is uh, super duper hot, but it looks super duper delicious and I'm excited to try this. Definitely steamy, steamy hot. And I don't want to burn my little taste buds for my, um, the rest of my dinner, my Cordon Bleu. That's such an easy dinner to y'all, just to um, get some of that Cordon Bleu, stick it in the uh, air fryer or the oven, and put it in the air fryer, make sure you, you know, get to the correct temperature so that, you know, you won't have raw uh, chicken in there. Um, or, you know, of course, put it in an Old Faithful in the oven um, and then have some sort of side dish like this. It's just yummy. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yum. That is a delish, y'all. Growing up, I never cared for broccoli. I wasn't, you know, didn't really eat it. And you know, as you get older, your, your taste buds change and your palate changes and mine has certainly changed in so many different ways and for the good and I absolutely love broccoli. This is delicious. And rice. Mmm. Y'all, I could just fill up just on this. And honestly, if, it were, if you were a vegetarian, you totally could make this as a meal for sure. So, mm -hmm. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you won't miss any of my uploads. And I'm going to save the rest of this for my dinner because I was doing a little taste test early for y'all, um, but uh, please go over and check out Lois and everyone else. Just follow that hashtag, Crock-Pot, Casserole, Open Collab. And we'd love for you to join us and show us what you're cooking in the kitchen. And until next time, bye y'all.